My name is Isabella Stetler, and I will be presenting on the learning curve in robotic colorectal surgery. The principal investigator is Dr. Yosef Nazari, and I have nothing to disclose. The aim of our study was to construct a robotic learning curve of an experienced laparoscopic colorectal surgeon performing a variety of colorectal procedures. Once we constructed the curve, we identified intraoperative and postoperative events to compare among the learning curve phases. We hypothesized that the learning curve could be divided into three distinct phases and that these phases would correspond with the surgeon's attainment of surgical proficiency, such as the reduction in operative time and adverse outcomes. By conducting a retrospective review of a prospective database, we found 111 subsequent colorectal procedures performed by Dr. Yosef Nazari, from which we recorded the preoperative, operative, and postoperative variables. We then used cumulative sum analysis of the surgical consult time to graph the learning curve. We identified three phases within the learning curve and compared continuous and categorical variables between those phases. In figure one, we have the cumulative sum analysis of the surgical consult time. Based on the slope of the curve, we were able to identify three phases, the learning, competency, and mastery phase. We found that there is a significant decrease in mean consult time, as well as a significant decrease in length of stay. And we believe that this is indicative of the surgeon's acquired skill and improved outcome. Between the groups, there was a significant difference in mean ASA score and age. However, we do believe that these demographics do not directly correlate to the difficulty of the procedure and therefore should not affect the surgical consult time. In conclusion, our learning curve of robotic colorectal procedures performed by a single surgeon was able to be divided into three phases. The learning phase in which the surgeon is still understanding how to operate the robot and therefore the surgical console time steadily increases. The competency phase in which the surgical console time remains fairly constant and the mastery phase in which the surgeon's surgical console time continues to trend downward. This learning curve shows that with more case experience, the surgeon over time had a lower average console time and decreased post-operative length of stay. To our knowledge, this is one of the largest studies examining a wide variety of robotic colorectal procedures. This along with other studies like it could be very useful in robotic stepwise training and credentialing for surgeons. Thank you for your time and attention.